So I've had this hat for about 10 years now, and it was a hat. So <clears throat> the first Stormy Cromer that I put on, I don't have because there was this shop in uh, Minneapolis called Kaplan Brothers. And uh, it was like, you could buy Carhartt, Dickies and uh, Red Wing shoes. And then there was literally a bin of black Stormy Cromer hats of all different sizes. They weren't sorted or anything. And so I like, I just like went around and I put one on, I put it on backwards and I was like, this, this, this is my hat. And so I went ahead and I went and got it. Um, I'm a photographer, so I was uh, photographing a Fringe Festival like a couple months later, wearing the hat all the way everywhere. And I left that hat in the venue that I was shooting. So that one is gone. I went right back to Kaplan Brothers and I picked up this hat, which I've had since. And uh, I've been in love with it ever since. And I have another black one just like this because this one was start because the brim was going so bad. Since I wear it backwards, you know, as I would like sit in chairs and stuff, that damn just constant like rubbing on my coat or whatever. So I've got another one that's doing the same thing, but not nearly as bad as this one was. So in the backwards, I suppose when you're photographing, you know, it's oh, easier yeah. to photograph with it backwards. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes sense. Yeah. My my wife, she's uh, she does wardrobe for theater, and so she is, you know, she works on a sewing machine regularly. But this one was, you know, the brim was so damaged on it that it was like I just don't know. And I, I glued it back together because it started to peel, and I was like, there's nothing to stitch. So I just put some glue on it and to like hold it together. And she like when we first met, you know, she would she would wear it as well so she she's worn this hat a whole bunch and she's wearing it backwards just like i do and so it's kind of you know I, I, that's another reason why i like it because it's it's how we're connected and um i've just been wearing it on fishing trips and everywhere i go i also work in theater so i a black is a common color that i would wear so it's easy to wear a black cap for my work and it's warm, it's comfortable. It's been with me for as many Canada trips uh, fishing with my dad that I, as soon as I got the hat, we'd gone fishing many years before that, but then ever since then, I've always had it with me on fishing trips uh, with my dad. Uh, he got a green Stormy Cromer, so he and I will wear Stormy Cromers uh, when we went out fishing. And so fishing is, you know, something that me and my dad like to do a lot. So that and anytime I go camping, um, go to the Boundary Waters, take it out there. Um, yeah. So do you hope to wear this hat until just really it disintegrates? Like, is this going for the long um, haul? Yes, more than likely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do have uh, another hat that is also, a, this is the gray hat. Miney's hat. So I got hired to photograph their 150th anniversary. So I just went to the gift shop and I saw this, I bought it and I wore it for the entire, uh, for the entire event. Got to meet a lot of the people, a lot of Google's people. Um, but when I went home, um, my wife had decorated the house and she proposed at that time. So this is now the hat that I wear now because this is basically I got this when we got engaged. So that's awesome. That's a great yeah. story. <laughs> yeah. So now I go back and forth between this one was this one. This gray hat has been I've been wearing a lot now because because it's in better shape. You know, the brim is really nice. Yep. And, and it's got that memory attached to it. As and well. it has that memory to it, you know. I just really enjoyed the brand, so I kept buying different hats. And I don't have a big collection of Stormy Cromers, but um, I got a wax cap. I got the uh, the cap with the metal on it. Okay, so did you have you tried the brimless hat? Maybe that's the way you, you know. Need to go. So I have one. I have the brimless hat, and it's it it's everything on paper seems right, but taking the hat off is the thumb to the brim. And so I like, I was like, this is gonna be perfect. The brimless hat. I put it on and I I like wished, you know, it was just a whoof and I couldn't get 
I was like, well, this isn't going to work because I can't take it off without like, you know, grabbing a hold of it and yank. But the the brim is like. Yeah, I, a, I, yeah, good point. The, That's very the lid good. opener, you know, you just got to have a little access. So I, I like it, but it does, it's my least worn hat because of that, because it's, I just don't know how to take it off. It's not the same. Yeah. I've been trying to reach, you know, found as many family members as I can. So I made sure all my sis my two sisters have one. Um, but I got my dog, uh, Stormy Kramer hat, and she's got a little bed as well. And anybody Does she that tolerate I... the hat? No. No. She, she, she like hunches up and is like, yeah. One yeah. good photograph, right? I know, right? Yeah. How about, I know a lot of, for a lot of people, it's a, like a conversation starter. Like, have you met anyone interesting because maybe, you know, they asked you about your hat or, or have you yeah, ever well, met someone because you asked them about their hat? I, I mean, I would, anytime I see somebody wearing a Stormy Comer, I always tell them, nice hat, you know? So, uh, there was, there was a guy, I'd go and get coffee at this coffee shop every day. And there was a guy that would sit on his porch and he started to call me Stormy Cromer as I walked by because he'd always tell me nice hat and then we'd get in a little conversation and then and then he would just holler out hey Stormy just because he liked the hat so much but you know I always make sure to like just shout it out to anybody I see because I, I think they're great and if people will get caught off guard because like I'm not wearing it forward like you know like the normal hat goes and so they would see the logo and then they'd be like ah oh, yeah yeah and then they reciprocate so we love hearing how this hat which is just you know a simple little hat ends up like really attaching itself to people's lives so. yeah and you just like you you know you when you see your friends with them it's just you, you know there's another connection there that you have and i i just really enjoy that i, I enjoy that aspect of it thank you so much for for taking the time to do that because this is gonna be on my head for as long as i can make it last <laughs>